Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Kaiser, JK Teaches Pre-K. I'm gonna show you two must-haves for your back-to-school learning. These are plastic sleeves, as you can see. They're well-used, they're well-loved. They come in a pack of six, and you can put anything in here from flashcards, plain paper, coloring pages, worksheets. I'll show you a few activities to go along with these. These are game changers. They save in printing, they save in ink, and they save the trees. Super great. And of course, to go along with your plastic sleeves for writing are dry erase markers. Highly recommend the Expo brand. Try the other brands, especially the ones from dollar stores. They're dried up when you take them out of the package. Go for the good stuff. They lasted me the whole school year with all 15 to 30 kids because we had two classrooms. These work great. To help you out, in the link below, I have added the link for you to be able to purchase these on Amazon just for your convenience. All right, let's show you some activities. First, name practice. In preschool and pre-K, number one, right? I just wrote my name across the top. You take your dry erase marker, right? And you practice tracing over the name. And eventually, they can start practice writing their name down below. It's gonna be huge, because as we know, the younger crowd writes very large. And then they can practice writing tidy and tiny. Those are really good words to use for your children. They're positive words and they will understand that, that they're doing their very best work. Now, time to erase. This is fine, but a sock is fun. So I just recommend a sock and I know we all have socks lost lost in the, in the laundry. Okay, activity number two. This is a fun one. So here we go. We are gonna put pom-poms on each of these. So one apple. One, two, two pom-poms, two, two, and three frogs, one, two, three. Then flipping it over, making sure you go left to right because that's where you want your eye trained to go and your hand for reading and writing. They can practice tracing one, one, two, two, three, three. Super fun. So the secret trick to this activity is the pom-poms and I am a pom-pom fanatic. This is only a little bit of my pom-poms, and we use these for everything. Also, get a bin, like a dish tub or a basket, anything you have, and just pour those pom-poms in there and let the kids sort them, scoop them, add cups, ladles, whatever you want. You can change it up from day to day for the week, and they really, really enjoy it. So, go do some shopping if you want. Think about these items to help your homeschooling go better and smoother and the kids love it. You'll be amazed how much they practice their writing and their different um, curriculum activities when you provide these plastic sleeves. Have a good day.